Yo. Hey man, what's good, y'all? I'm coming to show another Fergus video today. And before we hop into today's video, hope y'all feeling good, looking good, smelling good. Hope y'all having an amazing day today, you feel me? Hope y'all getting everything y'all need to do done. Hope y'all had some delicious to eat today, gang. Hope y'all had some really good to eat, bro. But, um, they coming for your boy, Tropstar. So I'm gonna need y'all to watch them ads. <laughs> I'm just playing, bro. But as y'all can tell by today's title and thumbnail, I'm gonna be breaking fragrances this time from, you know what I'm saying, popular brands. That last time I did, you know what I'm saying, just random fragrances on the tier list and not just rated them. And I ain't gonna lie, this, this video is probably a little bit better. I probably should have did this the first time, to be honest. But I'm only gonna do like five houses or like five, six brands. And um, you know what? Get this video to 120 likes, 120 likes. And I'll do a part two and I'll do more brands. If y'all really, you know what I'm saying? That'll let me know if y'all really want to fuck with this, you feel me? But um, yeah, without further ado, I know y'all ready. I know I'm ready. Let's get straight to it, gang. Let's go. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? The first brand we is going with, or the first house is we going with the most popular John Paul Gaultier. Now, as y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? We got Lamala Parfum, we got Elixir, we got Lamardi T, we got Ultramar, Scandal. Um, Scandal Parfum, um, Lebeau. You know what I'm saying? We just got the basic lineup, you feel me? And first starting off, we got Lamala Parfum. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Lamala Parfum, I do, I do feel like it's a great fragrance, gang. I feel like Lamala Parfum is an A-plus fragrance, you feel me? Now, Lamala Parfum is an A-plus fragrance, you feel me? It's very versatile. It's, <laughs> that shit's sexy as hell. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a great fragrance, gang. But it's just that it doesn't, give enough sweetness for me you feel me it doesn't give enough sweetness but that doesn't take away from the fact that it performs good it smells amazing it's great for any occasion it's going to have you smelling right gang but to me as y'all can tell by the next step when it comes to elixir elixir just blows it out the hell no go behind it elixir just blows it out the water gang like elixir just really does that but of course, we come to y'all with the, the one I hate, the one I just dislike at all, the most, you feel me? Which is Lamar EDT. Now, I ain't gonna lie. The only thing, the only reason I wouldn't put this at the lowest tier is because the smell is cool. The smell is cool, you feel me? I've been told it smells like this detergent. It's strong. What? Right. You like, um, Dawn. Like, this yeah. detergent. Yeah. yeah. It's I mean, detergent. I but the smell is cool though but besides the smell the performance is terrible and y'all know like i said if the performance is terrible on the fragrance it's no point of me buying it if nobody else is gonna you know what i'm saying smell it so for me i'm putting it as a c tier because i know a lot, I'm, i know i'm gonna get a lot of hate for this because i know everybody say oh lamar dt last on y'all it last on you motherfucker it don't last on me okay i'm not i'm not saying it don't last on everybody i'm saying it on my on my skin it don't last on my black skin it don't last on their skin bro that's all i'm saying but next up we got ultramar Ultramar's a dub. Ultramar's another dub. I ain't gonna lie. But it just ain't as great as Lamala Parfum and Lamala Liquor to me. But well, Ultramar's a dub for sure. But in my opinion, just get off 9 9 p.m. You know what I'm saying? Saving, just literally save your money. Um, Scandal. I ain't gonna lie. Both of the scandals. Both of the scandals. Ooh. Both of the scandals. A plus plus, my nigga. S tier. I ain't gonna lie. Both amazing. Um, Lebeau's. I ain't gonna lie. People always ask me about how I feel about Lebeau. Lebeau is mid to me. I ain't gonna lie. It's cool. I'm not saying it's a bad smell of fragrance. It's just, it's just, it's just mid to me. It's just mid. Like, I really don't, like, I really don't understand and see the hype around it because when I do rate you guys' as collections, I see a lot of people have Lebeau. And it's just like, I just be like, what's the point? It's not that good to me. I don't know. Y'all know I might get a lot of hate for this too. But I'm just saying, bro, the bowl is is not what y'all make it seem to be, gang. It's really not. But as y'all can tell by my but as y'all can tell by my tier list, I'm probably already knowing. I'm probably already finna get a lot of people in my comments saying shit. But hey gang, this is all opinion generated, you feel me? Um I feel like I feel like I feel like I got I got my tier list when I wanted it, gang. So uh let's move on to the next house. All right, y'all, for the next up house, as y'all can see, we got Dior right here, you feel me? Now, I ain't gonna lie, Dior is probably my second favorite house out of all the houses. Like, I just love Dior. Dior just give me that classic feeling, you know what I mean? But I'm um, speaking of classic feeling, you know what I'm saying? We got a little classy, you know what I'm saying, fragrance. 
Dior Home EDT can never go wrong with Dior Home EDT. I actually do want to buy the original, but like I said, one of my homeboys got it, so I can't I can't buy it. But um, Dior Home EDT is an S tier to me. I love it. I love it. I love Dior Home EDT. I have no idea which Dior that is, but then we got Dior Boo Boo. Um, where can I send this to hell? Um, hold on, give me a second, right quick. Let me tap a little this. Let me do this. And roll below. There we go. Hell. Sending it straight to hell. Go back. Please tell me I saved it. Okay, yeah, you going straight to hell. Yep, the Earthworm Height sent to hell. Okay, okay, next up we got this door. I have not smelled this one. I ain't smelled this one, so I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna move that one. Is that Dear Home Intense apart from, yeah, Dear Home, Dear Home Intense is, is, a, is another S tier. Dear Home Intense is another S tier. Remember my first time smelling Dear Home Intense? That junk is crazy, bro. Like I remember I was on a cruise ship and, but let me just be, let me just say this, bro. People stereotype so much. Like, I think they, they just thought like I had no money, which I did not have no money at the same time, but they could just read it. Like, I remember when I walked in, this, this lady just kept following me and following me and following. Me. Like, she didn't even try to hide it, bro. She was right here while I'm smelling Dior Home Intense. You know what I'm saying? And I'm smelling it and she just looking at me and I'm smelling it. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is insane. But yeah, Dior Home Intense, that, that junk is crazy, bro. That's, I, I gotta get that shit. Me. But Dear Home Puff Fun, I ain't gonna lie, that junk is too, it's, it's too dark for me, gang. It's too dark for me. I ain't gonna lie, I don't, I don't, I don't like it too tough, gang. That junk, like a good comparison would be like, Dear Home Intense is like that fire ass Batman, like that cool ass Batman. And then Dear Home Puff Fun, that's like a, 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 a deep dark version of Batman. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's too dark for me, gang. Um, Dear Home Sport. Cool, Dear Home Sport, nowhere near deserves, does not deserve an S tier. But then again, Dear Home Sport is cool, gang. I, I rock with it, I rock with it heavy. I wouldn't personally buy it. I wouldn't personally buy it. I'd rather, I prefer either buying Dear Home EDT or Dear Home Intense. But if you, you know what I'm saying, rock with Sport and go ahead and get it, bro. But um, next up, of course, we come at y'all with the Savage line. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that says Savage EDP, so we got Savage Auto Pop Fun. Um, to be honest, gang, a tier, A tier, Savage EDT. <sighs> I know, I know, I know y'all gonna hate me for this. I know y'all gonna hate me for this. I know y'all are, but it's just, well, is it not facts? Is it not facts? I'm, you know what? 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 I, I ain't gonna argue. I ain't gonna argue with you today. I ain't even got no time, gang. I ain't got no time. The rest of your looks old. Bro, if there was a godly tier, Dior Sauvage Elixir is up there for sure. And then for the last up, we got Sauvage Pop Fum. Sauvage Pop Fum is cool to me. And it, 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 it ain't nothing. It's a necessity to me. That's something like, I feel like as Sauvages increases, they just get more and more mature. Like I bought Sauvage Pop Fum for like my granddad or something. You feel me? Like they just get more mature, more smooth, more reserved. And then it's just like the Sauvage ET is like that young nigga. You feel me? That young boss. You feel me? But um, yeah, I, I like my list. We got Dear Fahrenheit in hell. I'm happy. All right, y'all. As y'all can see, for the next uh, spot, we got we coming at y'all with one million. Now I ain't even gonna lie, gang. I have not smelled. I don't think I smell. Well, well I think I have smelled most of you. I think it's a couple of discontinued ones, like all the ones that discontinued. I have not smelled it. But um, yeah, I think the first one million. I think that's discontinued. I ain't gonna lie, that one man, like some of these one means, I don't know what the hell they are. Okay, that look like one man pop farm. One man pop farm is cool to me. I don't see why a lot of people say it's trash. I see, I see, I think it has a mixed fan base. Like I see a lot of people in between. Some people say it's their favorite. Like it, like it has one, one side and one side only. Like you either hate it or you love it. But to me, I love it. I love it. No, I wouldn't put it at S tier. I'll put it at A tier. I'll put it at A tier. Royale. Royale is another cool one. Hey, performance, I feel like one million Royal is performance is up there with elixir. It's up there with elixir for sure. But I would not put it so high. The smell, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. 
I would not put it so high, but the performance, gas. The performance is gas. And we got one mean EDT. I ain't gonna lie. I put this at, uh, not because the smell is not bad. So I'll put it at B tier because the smell is not bad. It's just, the, you know what I'm saying? I feel like there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, if you get in one million, why would you, why would you cut yourself short? Well, you got better flankers. You feel me? It's just, it's nothing wrong with it at all. It's just, it's not the best out of the line. It's just not. Um, next up, we got one main elixir. <sighs> where is that? Where is it? Gas. Gas. Gotta go as to. Gotta go as to. You feel me? Gas. Um, next up, we got one million lucky. Lucky. Like, I know I gotta put lucky in there. You feel me? Because lucky done got me lucky if you know what i mean it got me it got me lucky you know what i mean goodbye now, now, but now man i'm just playing bro but lucky is you know what i'm saying of course it has to be s tier lucky is my most complimented fragrance in my collection so of course i gotta put it up there gang lucky lucky done changed my life bro with certain females it don't it don't, it don't have my back bro and i can never thank it enough but um yeah, like I said, the rest of them I have not some all those are discontinued. So I have not smelled none of them. Y'all let me know. Let me know some about them, you know what I'm saying, in the comment section down below. Like let me know about some discontinued fragrances I should check out. But um for right now, bro, that one mean list just smells a man. <laughs> but um for right now, I think my list is good. I'm rocking with my list. You feel me? I'm rocking with my list. Next up, I right, y'all. Next up, as y'all can see, we got YSL fragrances, you feel me? Basically, I think. I think it's my what I say my second or my third. I think I think it's my third spot for my favorite for my favorite um designer fragrances brand. Let me know what y'all um you know what I'm saying designer fragrances brand um ranked. But as you guys can tell, I got YSL in front of me. And first up, you know what I'm saying? Let's get started. First up, we got YSL myself. YSL myself is hard. YSL myself is hard, I ain't gonna lie. But it does not deserve to be in the S tier. I mean, yeah, there's a, it does not deserve to be in the S tier. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, it just doesn't. It doesn't do enough for me. You feel me? Um, next up, we got West of YADP wow. Intense. I have not smelt that yet. Have I? I don't think I have. Cause if, no, I haven't. Cause if I, I probably did, but it just didn't move me. I don't know. I don't know. Um, next up, we got YSL. Oh no, that's YSL YADP. I'm tripping. Um, YSL YADP. S tier gas automatically gas bro so many compliments i done got from that fragrance so many long school days that fragrance them that, that fragrance performance done got me through so many long school days that that fragrance is an s tier to me gang s tier s tier s tier all the way um next up we got ysl y -E uh um cool fragrance cool fragrance. would i say s tier I would say A tier for me, but I don't know for a lot of people it's S tier because a lot of people choose it over YSL YDP because a lot of people say YSL YDP is too. All right, as you guys can tell, my camera literally like literally just turned off out of nowhere. It just stopped recording out of nowhere. I have no idea, no explanation, no anything. But as you guys can see, this was like my final, you know what I'm saying, part for my chillers for YSL. Ended up putting YSL alone at the lowest because it just is it's boring to me, kind of, but it's cool. And then line of wheat is cool, but it just doesn't last long. So, yeah. All right, y'all. My bad. I think the camera cut. I don't know what just happened, but it stopped recording randomly. But I hopefully, hopefully I filled y'all in. But for this last one spot, I'm going to y'all with Versace. Now, as y'all know, you know what I'm saying? If you tapped in with the channel, I recently did one like this. And I hope I hope the camera doesn't cut. But I recently did one like this. But I'm, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and rank them again. So, starting off, Eros. Eros? I can't say it's a perfect starter fragrance for the average guy. For the average guy, it's a perfect starter fragrance. I low key, do I put it at S though? I don't know. Do I put it at S? Uh, I say yeah. I put it at S there. I put it at S there for what it is, for the value for money, and what and what it does for the. You know what I'm saying for the average guy, it's a it's a, it's a W. Versace Eros Flame. Once you get past that harshness, it's a beautiful scent. So if I'm just measuring the opening, I'll put it at B. But if I'm doing like the whole fragrance in general, like the, including the dry down performance, all that, 
I'll go. I'll go S. I'll go S. Low key. Versace Dreamer. I have not smelled that fragrance. Versace Perome. I ain't gonna lie. Versace Perome. I look. You put it at S. I, hey, y'all. Y'all probably gonna hate for what it is, but hey, gang. I love it. I love Versace Perome for what it does. For how fresh it. I love it. It gives me great vibes. I love it. Versace. Automatic S. Love it. Love it. Love it. Bro, they're making it seem like I'm a Versace D rider. <laughs> but now, nah, for real, gang, I really do love these fragrances, bro. I really do. I really do. Next up, we got Versace Men Old Fresh Angle Line. For the price they charging, no. No, no, no. No, nah, actually, I'll put it at B. For the price they charging, no. No, no, no. We got better options, gang. But if they were charging like $20, $25, hell yeah. You feel me? But on Versace, don't. The Versace blue jeans, I'm not even putting it on that list. I don't see why people buy that fragrance. I don't see. I don't I just don't see why. I don't see why. But this is my Versace list. But um I y'all, that's gonna be it from you know what I'm saying, me raking my but uh but uh I y'all, that's gonna be it for you know what I'm saying, me raking these popular fragrance brands, you know what I'm saying, fragrances. And uh yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of y'all day. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Let me know if y'all like agree or disagree with my fragrance tier list. I know a lot of y'all gonna disagree with them, maybe some of y'all gonna agree with them. But um, let me know in the comment section down below. And let me know what's your favorite fragrance designer brand. Let me know. But uh, yeah, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of y'all day. And peace.